Hi Grace, this is especially for you, just a wee snapshot of what we did on the weekend convention. I apologise in advance for the hammering, that is just something going on here at the moment. Um, quite a few projects at a convention this weekend. This cute wee one, um, it's a little book, a uh, picture of my life book. Um, every one of these is available through our program it's just the the only one you can't get is the front cover that was quite cute don't pay any attention to my order i got it completely wrong hole punched the wrong side so i've ended up with a book that's quite different to everybody else but that's okay it's all about being original so that was very sweet really like that some cards um using some of the new colors that um we've just getting coming out in the in the the new book uh, starting 1st of November we can order 1st of December our customers can just um, put some wee stamps on the back very sweet um, puppies 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 um, these ones I just added a bit of glitter sh um, shimmer trim sorry to the to the background on one of them just to give it a bit of extra sparkle um, they're very sweet a couple of layouts rather a double double layout here I'll just back it off for you there. This again is um, a new range for us. There's page one, there's page two. Very nice. Okay, the one you actually want to see is the Tool Techniques book, which is really useful to have in your stash to show your customers, um, but also to refer to yourself and great for your consultants to make one of their own. Um, so the techniques themselves edge distressor so you're just using the actual tool the round tool for that bit on here you've got the scissor distressing so use the scissors you can either use them open or closed and just go along the edge actually it um, does do slightly different distressing in these different ways so depending on the effect you want um, edge sanding so you're using our sanding block or our, or our like um, little um, filing nail file sort of cards you know those long oval ones sponging or um, I guess that could also be uh, daubing you know same tool director paper so that's just basically taking the paper and wiping it along the um, ink pad and that's why it's come out pretty rough for me because I had a little bit of extra ink there but no matter how I mean depends how careful you can be you might get quite a different effect there uh, use an embossing folder just on its own use an embossing folder and then sand the top Use an embossing folder and then wipe an ink pad, the whole ink pad, over the top. If you want a gentler look, a, a lighter look, you could of course sponge it, um, sponge it gently or daub it gently. But this is the entire glacier ink pad wiped over the whole top. Uh, I don't know if you can see much in this one. Let's focus it a little bit more. I, I made a particularly untidy job of it, but some ladies have some gorgeous effects here using the scoreboard um, and select you know don't score every single bit just select the ones you want to do and make a pattern there um, make a Cricut um, overlay and then spray use the spray pens to go through the middle use the stitch guide select the ones you want to pick out heat embossing so this is actually turning up gold there so you sprinkle it with the gold powder emboss it with a um, an embossing uh, a heat gun sorry heat it with a heat gun and away you go pigment so you use our pigment pads any color you like glacier whatever go over the top with um, clear powder and you're done um, paper tearing um, just tear it wherever you like and you get the white core showing through this one's a cool wee technique just spray it with your spritz roll it into a ball and then wipe it once you've spread it out wipe the entire ink pad over the top so you get it showing up uh, spritz pen nice and gentle that looks really cool and this one a lot heavier use a paintbrush actually put your finger there and snap the paintbrush against your finger and you get this really lots of um, ink splats right and that is it done grace i hope that gives you heaps of ideas thank you so much bye